Okay, for this second video, we are going to learn how to sketch a trigonometric curve, but we are concentrating of y is equals to cosine x. Alright, for cosine x, first you have to know what is the basic shape again. The basic shape looks like this. Alright, so this is actually 360 degrees, and our amplitude in this case is again 1 and negative 1. Alright, bear in mind that we have our general equation whereby is a cosine bx plus c okay so this a actually tells us the amplitude this b tells us something about the period and this c shift the graph up or down all right so now, let's say that I have an example. I'm supposed to draw y is equals to 2 cosine 3x. Okay, 2 cosine 3x. And now we change the range a bit. I want to draw from, let's say, negative 360 to, let's say, 360 degrees. All right, so when I'm drawing this curve, first I have to tell myself what is the amplitude. My amplitude will be 2. Okay, and my period in this case will be 360 degrees divided by 3, which is 120 degrees. So for every 120 degrees, I have to have one, basic, one complete cycle of my cosine curve. So from negative 360 to 360, it's going to be a huge range. So you must be prepared. You draw your y axis in the middle and you draw your x axis on both sides. Alright, so this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Alright, so I always like to start from my zero. So I, from here, I will draw my cosine curve. So bear in mind that I have to draw three. So I draw one, two, and I draw three. This three, and I know that it ends at 360 degrees. So I have to draw another three on my left hand side. So I draw one, two, three. All right, this will be negative 360 degrees. All right, so bear in mind that your amplitude will be 2, and this at the bottom will be negative 2. Okay, so if this is 360 degrees, my, in my middle over here, this will be 180 degrees, and 180 degrees to 0 degrees in the middle, it will be 90 degrees. So you must really learn how to label 90 to 70. So likewise, this is negative 360. So this will be negative 180. This will be negative 90. And this will be negative 270. So this will be my answer for this. Can you see that we draw such a long graph because we are ranging from negative 360 all the way to 360 degrees. Alright, so let's do another example. Let's say I have y is equals to cosine x over 2 and then now i plus 1. Alright, so now in this case I want my range to be 0 degrees all the way to 720 degrees all right now in this case you have to know that your amplitude is equals to 1 your period is equals to 360 degrees divided by half why half because x over 2 x over 2 we can see as half x so we can take the half over here and now we know that our period will be 720 degrees so in this case when I'm drawing my graph I can draw my y-axis on the left side okay so this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis now you see that your period is actually 720 degrees and you're drawing from 0 to 720 degrees so what does this mean is that I'm actually needed to just draw one complete cosine curve one and this will be 720 degrees and in the middle this will be 360 degrees 
I cut it by half again. This will be 180 degrees. And this will be, uh, let's see, 180 plus 360. This will be 540 degrees. Now, amplitude is 1. So this value over here will be 1. And this value over here will be negative 1. Is this my answer? Uh, not really. Because this is just the equation for y is equal to cosine x over 2. Our question is x over 2 plus 1. So how do we draw it? So let me draw it on top again. So I draw my y-axis. I draw my x-axis. Okay. So when it's a plus 1, I will draw a reference line, which is a 1. So from here, I will start to draw my cosine curve. I would need, just need to draw one cycle of it. And this will actually be 2. Oh, sorry. This is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, so yeah, I will do that in another video, alright?